Thank you, John and Helen. Generational traits play a huge role in communication. And to better understand how young people communicate with the older people around them, it helps to understand the difference in generations. One of the misconceptions is that the younger generation popularly known as Generation Z, i.e. those born in the digital technology age, are entitled and some say rude. But I have to say, I disagree with this generalization because I've become privileged to meet young people, particularly some young ladies, who are hardworking, driven, focused, and centered. They work hard, they play hard, they understand the value of friendship and collaborations. What comes across as entitled to older people in their style of communication is really more about the world they are growing up in and how different navigating in this world is to the generations before them. So with me today to share some insights with us are three young ladies whom I must say I'm so inspired by. 18-year-old Ama Moma, Oluwakemi Akinrele, and 17-year-old Reni Fasinro. All three ladies, in response to the COVID lockdowns, decided to educate and add value by organizing a series of Zoom webinars titled The Working Women's Webinars. These webinars were targeted at other young people like them and aimed at engaging older women so they could learn and gather useful knowledge for their futures. Welcome, Ama, Reni, and Oluwakemi. It's great to have you here with me this morning. So, ladies, communication with adults. Hmm. The first thing I want to know is, what would you say your biggest communication challenge is as young adults in today's world? Thank you so much for having us. We're really excited to be here. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges we have with communicating is, as a teenager, you're still trying to figure out who you are and how you want to portray yourself to other people. And so I find sometimes that when I'm communicating, I almost get, not stage fright, but you get nervous about what you say because you know that people remember your words and how you express yourself. And so sometimes that can lead to you being really nervous and cagey because you feel like every picture you post or every word you say is a direct reflection of how people remember you. And so it can make you freeze up a bit. You see, the, th the interesting thing about what you've just said now is it's not unique to young people. This is a standard thing with every human being. We all get nervous. We all remember that people remember our words, they remember what we post, remember what we say. So the one thing I will say to you is we're not so different after all. Um, and to that, the, the next thing that I really wanted to know was do you feel that the adults around you hear you when you communicate with them? Um, I think it definitely depends on who you're speaking to and what you're talking about. But fundamentally, um, when you enter any conversation, whether it's with somebody that's not your age or somebody in your generation, it's important to come from a place of openness and humility because there's something to be learned in any conversation. And what, I, what we generally think is that um, our problems are fundamentally the same, but they manifest themselves in different ways because we've grown up in different um, time periods and different circumstances. So when we communicate, it's important to share our perspectives so that we feel heard. And um, just because a certain situation makes someone react um, a certain way doesn't, uh, that you wouldn't react in, um, it doesn't immediately mean that their feelings and that their reaction is invalid. One of the things that I'm really, really enjoying having this conversation with you ladies is the fact that it's really, it's really shining a light into how you think and how you see life. And it's really, it's really just breaking down all the misconceptions because yet again, you know, you said some really, really valid things. The problems are the same, but they're manifested differently, you know. So when, so, so a lot of the times when people talk about a breakdown in communication between generations, I always wonder, 
do you, do you, as the younger generation, feel that there is a breakdown in communication between your generation and other generations? Well, yes, as younger people, we do feel that sometimes there is a breakdown in communication with different generations because as both Oluakemi and Ama have said, everyone has misconceptions about each other and everyone is coming into it, it with different things. Like we think that adults won't change their ways. Adults think that teenagers are entitled. But the most important thing is that we all come from a place of honesty and humility and with a willingness to connect. And that's exactly why we made AMO, because we wanted to foster conversations between women from different generations so that we can all help each other. Because especially women and as African women, that's really what we need. So, And all the women who spoke to us came from a place of humility and a willingness to connect. So I feel like when you have that, you can overcome the barriers of intergenerational communication. What would you then say the future of intercommunication, interpersonal communication is? Like people are coming, um, we're getting to a point where people are willing to learn from each other and have like open and respectful dialogue about their experiences and their perspectives and how that affects them and how that um, has affected the, the different journeys that they've been on. Um, but I think we also think that it will become more instantaneous, which can yeah. be a good thing or a bad thing, um, because like with social media, you can communicate really easily with different people, but then it can also feel like it's difficult to escape and find quiet time and um, just peace. Yeah, I think communication is going to get much faster. <laughs> And easier, so I think it's it's on us to find a way to meaning meaningfully communicate with other people, and to learn to have proper conversations and real conversations, even though communication is becoming easier. Because I think so far communication becoming instantaneous has led to less um, serious conversations and less honest conversations. Mm -hmm. So I think we just need to be intentional with wanting to be honest and share properly. Yeah, I totally agree. And because communication is so accessible to us now because of social media. We can feel like we're having many conversations, but not many substantial conversations. Mm -hmm. So I think that going into the future, because we know that we're in a digital age, it's just important that we remember that and try to have as many substantial conversations as possible. You know, it's, it, it's, it, really is, it really is an honor to be having this conversation with you ladies, because in everything you've said, you have taken ownership of the narrative. You have shown humility in how you want to communicate and be communicated with. And you have actually, you, you have basically just de debunked the whole theory of young people are entitled because nothing you have said thus far shows an entitlement mentality. If anything, it shows humility, it shows ability to hear the other person out and understand other perspectives, you know? And, and for me, these are things that us as older generations need to begin to understand. We need to begin to take a few steps back and understand that younger people, they're not that different from us. They want to be heard, they want us to hear them, and they want to connect. So as I always ask, um, towards the end of my segment. In three short sentences, what would you like us older people to understand about your communication dilemmas? Um, communication is about patience and honesty. And I think we value that the most in our conversations. Um, I think it's also important that we go into conversations um, with different and with people in different generations um, with a willingness to learn um, because there is always something to be learned from another person's perspective and you don't always need to leave a conversation having convinced the other person of your perspective. Um, it's okay to just have open dialogue like Amma said and be patient um, and willing to grow together. Yeah, and also communication is a two-way street and we need to meet each other in the middle um, because our lives really aren't that different as we've all said 
So it's important that we make that effort. Thank you so much, ladies. Really, anybody listening right now, I hope we have learned that our young people, they are ready, they're mature, they understand what it means to have good communication. The onus is actually now on us, the older generation. And if you saw earlier the table that had the different um, generational types, you would see that there is a, there's a strong gap between their generation, which is typically, like I said earlier, the generation Z, and the generation of their parents. Some of their parents belong to the baby boomers generation. Some of them belong to the silent generation. And then I belong to the um, generation X. You know, so when you begin to see the differences in the generation, it's easier to understand what the challenges are. And these young people, they're willing, they're ready, and they want us to understand where they're coming from. They want us to connect with them and just give them a chance, put more of an effort in. So I'm really, really quite grateful to have you ladies here today. Thank you so much, Ama. Thank you, Reni. And thank you, Uluwa Kemi. It was lovely to have you here with me today. Now, it's time for the fitness segment with Dolly Phillips.